I'm here with my wife and daughter on beautiful Vancouver Island. Where are we right now, Lily? On uh, Vancouver Island. Yeah, and what did we just do? Well, collected some chicken eggs. Yeah, look at that, fresh from the chicken. Quite a, quite a flock of laying birds here. Our Airbnb is the, the yellow house over there. That's where we're staying. And this is our living room, dining room, and the kitchen section, as you can see. Here's our little laundry facility. I'm actually making laundry right now and towels to wash, kitchen towels. This is our bathroom. Here is where Robert sleeps with all the suitcases. We keep him company at night. Lulu's bed at my bed. <laughs> We're here outside the mini goat pen here. Oh, look at that. He's hungry for that cracker. Hello. Do you want a cracker as well? There you go, buddy. We have just discovered the mother of all wild blackberry bushes. Check this Black out. Berries. Blackberries. How is it? Yummy. Oh, yeah. It's not focusing, but it looks delish. Mm. Apparently, somewhere around here is the ocean and a very unique sort of beach. So we're going to head down and try to find it. A narrow and beautiful trail surrounded on all sides by wild blackberry bushes laden with fruit. Like here's a nice cluster right here. Some not quite ripe, but this is literally everywhere. Wow, look at this. Quite mystical. Did we make it to the ocean? Wow, here we are. What do you think, girls? Beautiful. A genuine strand of bull kelp washed up on the shore here. Looks like a couple inches at, um, in diameter here at the bottom and probably 10 feet long. Massive dried out driftwood. Look at this girls. 100% genuine bona fide barnacles on this rock. Real barnacles. Those are barnacles too, yes. I wanna keep them. Lily found something kind of interesting here. A dead, but 100% bona fide ocean crab. Well, this is it, girls, the ocean. Lily is touching the ocean for the first time. And in the distance over there, we have mountains or semi-mountains. What do you have there, Etta? It's called bull kelp. Bull kelp. Yeah, I saw one of those earlier and it's, I didn't it's, realize they're like hollow. Look at know, that. It's, it's, it's weird. It's hollow inside. So thick and rubbery. Amazingly huge boulders here. That one at the end has to be at least eight feet tall, I'd say. And down here on the ground, thousands upon thousands of sea snails. Many of them still alive. What an enormous remnant of a tree that washed up here a long time ago, I'm guessing. Well, this is kind of interesting. I can't really tell if this is dry, hardened mud or sedimentary rock. I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. You look beautiful. You look beautiful, Lily, and fierce. Now, here at the ocean, there's all sorts of unknown plant life washing up on shore, including these, some sort of an organic fluid-filled sack which, when you squeeze it, shoots out water, believe it or not. Look at that. Several noteworthy specimens for my green rock collection. Stopping for a little break and a snack oh, here. Oh, and uh, more blackberries again. Yep, a convenient place to stop because A, we're in the shade, and B, there's a massive cluster of more blackberry bushes. The tide is coming in, Etta. Okay, we're gonna all walk into the ocean together, right, and girls? This is what ocean, honey? Pacific. Pacific, right. Ready? Here we go, Lily. You ready? Two, three. The ocean is gonna be oh. Here we go. Ah, it is refreshingly brisk. <laughs> what do you think, Lil? How's the water? <laughs> Some ocean keepsakes here from. Muir Beach. 
What an enormous stump here washed up on the shore, eh girls? Apparently Edita has spotted a seal on the rock. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, that is a seal resting on the rock. Well, we've reached our goal here. These very interesting sedimentary rock, soft sedimentary rock cliffs that go along the ocean. Look what the waves did to it. They carved it out. Nice little platform here to sit and rest. <laughs> what do you think, girls? I love it. Oh, someone wrote something here. So, it's quite a hot day today. I'd say mid-20s Celsius, and yet... I don't know if you can see that, but I've got vapor from my breath on a day like this. So it's day two and we're just going down a mysterious forest trail to Sand Cut Beach. So there's a considerable slope here going down this trail. Yeah, and as Lily's pointing out, there's, there's a massive cedar stump here. Lots of massive cedar stump. That thing is enormous. It's got to be eight feet in diameter. All gnarly and everything. Wow. This section of the boardwalk is built right into this massive fallen log here. Probably four feet in diameter. 100 foot, three and four foot diameter trees everywhere. First glimpse of the ocean here, going down these, these steps. Beautiful. Another absolutely gorgeous beach. Sand beach. What do you think, Aditka? Oh, this is just blowing my mind. Loudly tell me what you think of this place. I love it, but it's cold, 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 cold. Which way is the waterfall? There, you see, I think there's where the rocks are. Well, we've made it to one of the landmarks we were seeking, which is this beautiful little waterfall here. A little ways in from the ocean, as you can see. We've just been hiking along the beach and we found this little waterfall. Lily's already enjoying the little pool here. Edita found the remains of a <laughs> rather large crab. More bull kelp here at various stages of development. Looks like an alien monster. It's also the perfect spot to rinse off the latest additions to my green rock collection. There's Edita walking out on an enormous washed up tree trunk. So we're up here right now on that enormous tree that Edita was climbing on earlier. This thing is huge. Mm. Maybe 10 feet in diameter. And here's Lily relaxing up here on the root structure. But what a truly enormous tree trunk. Like it's a long fall down there. There's Edita way down there. What a beautiful view. It is a little bit nerve-wracking up here, up at the top of this root structure, but well worth it. Amazingly huge tree. Lily has discovered a cave in this rock. You want to climb in there, sweetie? Yeah, but you, you want to keep the car. Okay, I'm coming. Let's go. There's the back. And look at that, there's the opening. So cool. Well, I think we've reached the end of the line here. There's this projection of rock out into the water and it sure is beautiful, eh, Lily? We're gonna try to examine some of these barnacles here because apparently they respond to human touch. The tide's coming in pretty quick too, holy smokes. Boy. <laughs> okay, here they are. Let's see what happens. Look, they're moving. Oh, <laughs> that was a close one. Here at the local restaurant for dinner and I'm just about to enjoy the fish chowder. 
We're here behind our little cabin and we're going to feed the goats some chopped carrots here. Oh yes. Delish. They love these. Mmm. How cute. They've been supplying our breakfast every morning, these hens. Yeah. Uh, and, and those ones like blue ones, the white bushy ones. They like yeah, blue eggs. Yeah, they like eggs. blue eggs, you're right. Well, it's day three here. We've just walked down another steeply descending forest trail to lead us here to Botany Bay, which is quite beautiful, as you can see. Quite a remarkable and, as usual, very large assortment of driftwood. Lily and I are out here exploring these tide pools as the tide slowly comes in. Edita's exploring the rocks over there. We're going to try to take a look at one of these interesting aquatic critters, a mollusk of some sort, I forget what they're called, down here in this tide pool. It's like a prehistoric trilobite. You can see it down there. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to come loose. Oh, it came loose. It look at that. Kind of a prehistoric looking thing there. It's got this mossy shell. And look, it's got, yeah, it's got meat on the bottom. You're right, Lily. No, you can't kill a creature just for its shell. Lily and I have just ascended up this slope from the tidal pools, which are down there where Edita is. And we are now way up here. What do you think of this place, Lily? I'm scared, I wanna get off. Okay, I'll get you down. <laughs> so we're here on our way back up the trail and we found this enormous yellow, light yellow and brown slug. It looks like a slightly bad banana. This thing is huge, like just for reference. Look at it next to my hand here. That thing is enormous. It just had its antenna out a couple seconds ago, but it withdrew them. Well, that's reassuring. Hiking down yet another forest trail here, and what a luscious and mystical forest this is. They're so tall, and all of them just perfectly straight. And all of them, you know, at least 100 feet high, I'd say. We've come across an enormous cedar tree here, and we can't quite see the base of it behind these shrubs, but look at that thing. I'd say a good six feet in diameter or more, and at least a hundred and probably 150 feet tall. I'm not sure if that's coming across in the video, but might even be seven or eight feet at the base here. What do we have here, Lily? Bear scat. Bear scat, yep. Like that eating. sign did warn us that it was bear country, and here is the proof. More monster trees ahead, including that giant spruce up there. Look over here, girls. What do you think of this tree? Enormous. I love it! Look at the texture of the bark. This thing is enormous. Well, we're almost at the ocean now. We've got another elevated view down to the water. And the sound of the crashing waves is honestly both beautiful and a little intimidating. Quite a view. Another beautiful shoreline. There go the girls down there looking for shells. And in the other direction, because of the fog, it just turns into utter blackness. Can't see anything which has a beautiful, mysterious, and almost ominous quality. Well, we made it to the end of that foggy, ominous area, and there's this very interesting vegetation-covered cliff here. So we're here at this wood-fired pizza place along the forest-filled road. Stoked. Stoked, it's called, under some cedar wood. How on earth Wood-fired pizza. How on earth do they cook it over a fire? Thank you. You're welcome. It looks so easy, so I thought I would have a rest. Good idea, having a rest in a washed up driftwood log here at French Beach. What an amazing view from up here on this piece of driftwood. Maybe eight feet above the beach here. And the tide is coming in. Did you hear what I said? 
Lily has discovered that the chickens love these leaves that grow around here. They're just devouring it. Obviously very eager for anything green, eh, Lily? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting kind of close now, wet and dry. Back at French Beach today, which is a family favorite, and we've got this interesting weather pattern going on. It's quite sunny and warm today, and yet we have this thick fog as well, so you can't see very far. I don't think I've ever experienced such a stark combination of sun and fog before. So the tide's coming in, but luckily we've got some shelter over here from both the tide and the sun. Looks like an ordinary pile of driftwood leaned against a tree, but inside we've got a very cozy little nook. Just lily size. A little bench in there. Just perfect. Just enjoying a little walk here at the local boat launch and marina before our dinner reservations up the hill. Oh my goodness, we have just encountered a seal. Look at that. How cute. Hope he doesn't jump out and get us. Look, there's that seal again. He's jumped on top of the dock over there. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there on that dock. Seems to be, oh look, he's he's bounding about on the dock. Look, there's another one over there. You can see his head. Apart from the fog, the mountainous background, and the smell of seawater, this, this is quite reminiscent of Gorbay. There he goes there. Look at that. Cute little guy. Just about to have dinner at this fancy resort restaurant, and they seem to be having an antique car show. A lot of interesting specimens here. Well, girls, here we are at the restaurant, and I have ordered mussel and clam chowder. Mm. Looks delicious, with some homemade garlic bread as well. And the second course, the gourmet grilled chicken and vegetables for Lily. How is it, sweetie? The redfish pasta for Edita. Looks very nice. And the lamb shank for me. So it's raining today, so we decided to tour the local museum, which has all kinds of artifacts from eras past here in the local area. We're back here at French Beach, but it's cold and blowy and a little rainy today. But that's not stopping Lily from taking shelter in that fort we built and enjoying a little fruit snack in here. We're about to embark on yet another forest hike. The longest one we've taken to date, down to Mystic Beach. About two kilometers, roughly the length of Bailey Line Road. I have two this should sweaters. be exciting. And Lily's wearing two sweaters. This is gonna be interesting hike down because it's wet. Wet and a little bit steep. Yesterday and it's very moist here. And going and up. Look at those root, the root system here. It even works up. Ah, we'll be fine. On the trail goes. Lots of little brooks and things. And here's another one here. This probably has the most volume of water so far. Okay, we're part way across our voyage now. Still a long way to go. But we've come across this suspension bridge over the middle of the forest. Looks amazing and a little bit scary. We met some hikers up ahead who told us there was a suspension bridge. I wasn't expecting anything this high or this this long. Don't look down. That's got to be maybe an 80-foot drop. We're almost there, girls.
Ha! Ah. Made it safely to the other side. Editor, what did you think of that suspension bridge? I like that. Bouncy. <laughs> Scary. Almost at the water now, I think. Just some more stairs and woodland walkways. Well, we made it out of the long, roughly two and a half kilometer hike down to Mystic Beach. It's raining pretty hard now. I'm just taking shelter under this overhanging rock shelf. The girls have gone up ahead because there's a waterfall up there. Not this little one, but a big one. So I'm just about to follow them over and check that out. Well, this certainly is something. Look at this rock formation. Beautiful. The tide's coming in, so we're gonna have to be careful that we don't get trapped in here. What do we have here, Lily? A cave. It's, it could be all to ourselves and it's dry. A cave all to ourselves. Well, so it is. Just want to get a clip, quick glimpse of this waterfall while I still can, which won't be for more than, won't be more than a few more minutes that this is possible, I think. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Just gushing over the side here. Oh, oh boy. I'd better head back while I still can. We're just enjoying a little rest and refreshment before we begin the journey back to the parking lot. Well, hello folks. We're back here at China Beach, only this time it's beautiful and sunny and we've got a blue sky. Are you having fun here at China Beach? Yeah. Okay, Lily, tell us all about bull kelp. Tell us and show us. Well, it's very strong and slippery when fresh. Super flexible, can bend right over, super strong. See if you can break it by pulling it apart. No, not bending it, just pulling. Nope. Look, it's, so, it's too strong to even break. This apple has gone bad on us, gotten pretty mushy. But rather than throw it out, we decided to give it to the goats. They're not picky. And the chickens, look at what they ate. And the chickens too, yeah. There you go. There you go. A girl and some chickens. What a beautiful sight. Don't pick my fingers. Back at French Beach again here, probably for the last time since we're leaving the day after tomorrow. And there's what looks like a fully loaded cargo ship in the distance there. Hi, Lily. Hi. <laughs> We've just claimed this piece of driftwood where our fort is built for ourselves forever. Someone's not too happy to be saying goodbye to this place, eh, sweetie? Oh, dear. Well, that concludes our visit here on beautiful Vancouver Island. It's been a wonderful time, but we're all ready to get back to our cabin in the woods in Ontario. Thanks very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Track is here still. How do you feel right now? Oh, so relieved.